All right, we won the die roll. Playing first, keeping. What do we open with? I guess the Burning Fist Minotaur because first strike? I don't know. I feel like that's right. All right. All right. Got our top end there. Man, the difference between a consign and an unsummon here is pretty vast. Okay, building towards that in Heb. Let's get in there and I guess play the Firebrand Archer. Splendid Agony wrecks our day pretty good, I guess. Cycling the Renunciation, which is not a hugely popular card. Cycling again, what is going on here? What are you digging for? So just cycling all day. Okay. Oh, to get the hollow one. Well, whoa! That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, so... That's so weird. All right, let's get in with the Burning Fist Minotaur. Oh my god, we're going to toast them? They're going to let us toasty them? Awesome. Well, I like that. Let's get some toastiness out of the way here, shall we? I guess we'll discard the Lab Guardian, because we can just bring that right back. And then how about we consign your other dude? How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Don't mind if I do. Nobody expects the triple cycle into double hollow one play in limited. What? Thankfully, Burning Fist Minotaur is such a dirty spell that just brutalized our opponent. Okay. Initiate. Initiate it is. It is. So we can play in the Heb this turn. I guess that means we just smash, probably. I'm willing to trade my Archer for the top half of a Aven Initiate. I mean, maybe this will add up to more damage later, though. But I don't want them to be able to double block. All right, let's get in. We'll do it. We'll offer the trade. Honestly, I think it's a pretty fair trade. Considering we don't have any spells left, I'm thinking it's pretty... It's pretty fair. It is fair. And we can start sandbagging lands for Burning Fist Minotaur now, too, so that's good. We've officially topped out. Clone stack is pretty sweet. I mean, it's not good enough right now, but it's certainly sweet.
Oh, really? Yeah, I was going to say. Really? It's interesting. Oh, we get four red mana. That's so dirty. I, for I totally forgot about that. It's so filthy. <laughs> That's so dirty. Ooh, if they have the two drop black, if they have the vile manifestation, their deck is so sweet. Mmm, being a Punisher card's pretty awesome. Guess you kind of have to do it to that guy, that makes sense. Okay. We'll go get our extra damage in. So we get him for six. It's pretty tolerable, I guess. It's the first time I've seen the gate to the afterlife. Does our opponent really have God Pharaoh's gift in there too? If so, they have such a sweet deck. Oh my god, my opponent's deck is the I gotta tell him. That is the coolest hour of devastation deck I've ever seen. That, I mean, that is just a ridiculously amazing deck. What a sweet deck. Cycle fatties, play this cheaper, bring them back, actually find a use for Gate to the Afterlife. Just an amazing deck. Totally amazing deck. I don't think we have any anti-artifact either, which is definitely a bummer. Definitely a bummer. Uh, so land doesn't do anything, so we chill. I have no problem losing a match to this deck. Our opponent's deck is absolutely the coolest deck I've seen in the format. Not even close. Not even kind of close. Are you, are, you, are you kidding me? Multiple hollow ones, all cycle creature with God Pharaoh's gift? Like, that's, that's outrageously cool. If there's vile manifestations in there, the synergy goes so deep that I don't even know what to do. What a cool deck. And then they do have Splendid Agony on top of that, too. Their deck is so sweet. What an amazing deck. Why can't I 
draft sweet decks like that and then put them on uh, draft videos. Yeah, but not even kind of close. Like, my opponent's deck is the sweetest deck I've ever seen in the format. Did I have double blue? I guess I had cancel. Alright, so coolest deck in the format. What do we have for sideboard? Let's see. Can bounce things, which we might actually need. Not a single anti artifact to be found, though. Bummer. Alright. Probably bring in the floodwaters, I guess. Maybe take out the illusor. Well, this deals with the 4 4s, though. Hmm. Maybe the magma spray is not as good. No, it's Bane Whip Punisher, I guess. Hmm. Well, cancel. No, we're going to need that. All right, let's 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 just stick to the same plan. We have the cancel for their seven drop, so let's just do that. All right, sounds good. But, man, I hope I, I draft a deck as sweet as my opponent someday. That would be so amazing. If I could draft anything close to that, I would be so happy. What an amazing deck. I mean, the fact that you get to play Gate to the Afterlife for value, are you are you kidding me? Are you joking? You get to play Gate to the Afterlife. wasn't expecting that one. I didn't actually feel like they had a ton of creatures, which kind of makes that one a little more surprising.
So I guess we're, we want to exile, but I don't know. Maybe we don't want to exile. That's actually, well, I want to deal the extra damage, though, too. I guess that does make sense. Exiling is actually not that important when you've got uh, God Pharaoh's gift in your deck or whatever. But that's all right. Okay, that's pretty bad news bears for us. That's bad news bears too. God, why is my opponent's deck so awesome? Why does it have to be like the sweetest deck ever? Why does it have to be just so awesome? So sweet. So amazing. I guess we'll take Magma Spray. Because then we can play two spells next turn. Just spray it now, I guess. Maybe I was supposed to tragic lesson first, I guess. Well, I don't know if it matters. Let's just do it now. I'm doing it now because I'm going to bounce a land. And be able to replay it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, got lucky there, because uh, I can't believe how much cycling our opponent got. I don't even have anti-graveyard. Come on, I don't have anything. <laughs> no anti-graveyard, no anti-artifact. Is that right? Okay, I guess so. Keep. Gotta keep it. Can't not keep this. That's for sure. 
Archer into Scrapper into Consign into Entity is not bad against your ordinary run-of-the-mill decks. However, against the coolest deck I've ever seen, you never know. Gustwalker? Well, there's something we didn't see before. Alright, let's get the archer down. Really hoping our opponent's not fixed in this one. I'm glad they exerted, because I feel like we're the ones that are we're the ones that are in a rush, not them. Their long game is leagues better than ours. Well, at least they don't have their black mana yet. Dorned Pouncer, okay. Fair enough. Well, we got to say it, don't spray it. That's pretty cool. But I think this is a turn for the old scrapper. Not quite ready to tempo just yet. Now we are. Next turn we can go spray plus entity. That is pretty good. Riddle form's good too. That is good. Hmm. I think that we. Hmm. What is the play? I think we go spray here. Get in with Scrapper, play Entity. Well, our opponent lost connection and then never came back, which is almost, I, I think, even though I get the win, it's still kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted to see what happened this match, because we were actually in a pretty good position. Well, not even an amazing position, only a pretty good one, because we were going to nuke this, then we would have gotten in for two, taking them to 18, then we would have played Entity, getting back our Magma Spray on top of our deck, which means we would have drawn the Magma Spray. The next turn, we would have been able to go Riddle Form, um... I don't know what they would have done, but we would have had consigned to be able to do something, maybe bounce the hollow one. And then the turn after we draw the Magma Spray, it's not going to show me. Whoa. Maybe it won't show me. Well, I wanted to see what I drew. All right. Well, I guess we got to go to round three. We'll see you there.